FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. More details about the events surrounding the tragic shooting on the set of Alec Baldwin's western film Rust are coming to light. Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office released all files associated with our ongoing investigation Monday, including dozens of photos and videos taken from the October 21st incident that resulted in the death of cinematographer Heine Hutchins. Today the Sheriff's Office is releasing all files associated with our ongoing investigation, said Sheriff Adon Mendoza in a statement. The files are all related to the Rust movie set investigation and include lapel slash dash camera footage from deputies and detectives, incident reports, crime scene photos, examination reports, witness interviews, set video and staff photos collected throughout the course of this investigation. The files also include footage taken earlier in the day from one scene, which involved Baldwin, 64, quickly drawing his gun and aiming it toward the camera, the same F. Lee Pieta 45 long Colt revolver that later misfired, killing Hutchins and wounding writer slash director Joel Souza. Although the footage has no sound, it shows the actor running through the scene, in which he is of sitting in a church pew with his Stetson hanging over his eyes before looking up and pulling the gun out of his jacket pocket in a cross draw. Other videos also revealed first responders treating Hutchins and Sousa inside the church set built at Bonanza Creek Ranch before they were transported via ambulance, as well as Baldwin asking about their condition as emergency responders did all they could to save the mother of one. Other footage also shows Baldwin speaking to a deputy and when asked if he is alright, the actor replies, no. I'm not, actually. The investigation material also includes the bedside interview with Sousa who begs to know if Hutchins is still alive. Some materials are still being collected in CFCSO's investigation and were not included in Monday's release, including firearm and ballistic forensics. DNA and fingerprint analysis and data from Baldwin's phone. Once these investigative components are provided to the Sheriff's Office we will be able to complete the investigation to forward it to the Santa Fe District Attorney for review, Mendoza added in his statement. Baldwin has claimed he did not pull the trigger and was told the gun was not loaded. After the New Mexico Environment Department's Occupational Health and Safety Bureau issued the production of fine of more than $135,000, the maximum possible, Baldwin's attorney commented on the report in a statement. We appreciate that the report exonerates Mr. Baldwin by making clear that he believed the gun held only dummy rounds, the statement reads in part. Additionally, the report recognizes that Mr. Baldwin's authority on the production was limited to approving script changes and creative casting. Mr. Baldwin had no authority over the matters that were the subject of the Bureau's findings of violations, and we are pleased that the New Mexico officials have clarified these critical issues. We are confident that the individuals identified in the report will be held accountable for this tragedy. It continues. Although CFCSO has not ruled out charges until the investigation is complete, Baldwin and the film's producers have faced several lawsuits, including one filed by Hutchins' family.